Kids and Cadets, welcome back to Tommy Time. Thanks for coming out. We got a lot to discuss with this 2020 Craftsman. I had put this to bed last night, non-running. I believe the um, main jet was bored out too much, so this was my second project today. This was a, a machine I got in a group of four for 45. This was the only one that we couldn't start. As you recall, there was a hay field here on the side, no uh, trap door. What else? This thing had blue fuel in the uh, tank. If you recall, the uh, blue fuel. And uh, also a no spark issue. That's the reason this wouldn't start when we tried to happy juice it initially. The, the plug was fouled out and arcing out. I put an NGK plug in it. And we did get it to run, but it's not running smoothly. It's acting doggy, doggish. So let's discuss what I did today. I removed the carburetor again. And uh, replaced the cartridge with another aftermarket cartridge that I got from um, AliExpress. I got a group of five uh, cartridges for ten dollars and sixty one cents. So here's the one that was in there. Somebody bored it out too much. The lowest drill bit size in this group of micro bits is 6 millimeter. It goes up to 1.5 millimeter. So I, I bore them out to the um, 6 millimeter. And the, um, the drill bit's just dancing around in there. Somebody took way too much brass out. So a lot of fuel was going through and, and dogging out the engine. So I got a five pack of these cartridges and these cartridges are for a 450E series. I happen to have a Briggs manual here. Uh, and darn it, I didn't bring out the uh, part number for the cartridges, but I'll put it below. I had written it down and uh, forgot to bring it with me. So these are like I said, five for 1061, I believe, free shipping. So I put one in here. But as you can see, this is a 550 E series. So no matter what, 450, 5, 550, I always bore them out to the um, to the six millimeter. So I just take the uh, cartridge. I need a third hand. Just stick it into the brass jet. And just with my finger, start twisting the micro bit, putting a little pressure as I go, let the drill do the work and, and see how it grabbed itself and moved itself in to the jet. So back it off, try it again, and it'll see there we go. It's now it's moving in and out on its own. So I've got six millimeter here on that brass. I'm not going to wobble the bit around, open it up anymore, it goes in tight, pull it out, and uh, that's my six millimeter. So that's what you need for these jets to make these run a little better. These are um, weaned way down to meet emission standards, and that's why these things don't run as good. But in, the, in this case, somebody overboard it, too much gas, but a lot of these don't run rough if you bore out the uh, brass jet 
to six millimeter they'll run a lot better than they do from the factory there's a lot of videos out there guys will tell you the same thing so let's uh, see what this thing sounds like with the six millimeter board out main jet the other thing I noticed about these um, 450E cartridges. I don't know if there's been a new upgrade, but I've never seen a O-ring here at the base of this secondary cartridge. And there's also another small jet, I, b I believe. Yeah, it's it's open. I could see that there's a a tiny brass jet that's also bored and, and goes down into the base of the cartridge. So this is a little different setup than what I've seen before with this O-ring here and then the secondary jet. Usually it's just this jet here. So I don't know if this is to get them to run a little bit better. Maybe they've solved their running issues with this revamped cartridge. So, what I did on that one, I uh, bored it out to the 6 millimeter. Let's see what it'll do. You remember yesterday it was doggy. It just wasn't running smooth. So I'll put the part number down below for these cartridges if you guys want to buy them. Domestically, I've seen them on eBay. They're um, nine, ten bucks for one for the uh, OEM Briggs, and I think I paid, like I said, ten dollars sixty-one cents for the five out of China, free shipping, and it'll take uh, three weeks or so to get here. So I've used one, I got uh, four to go, so I got plenty to get me through some future projects. So I hear thunder in the background, it looks awfully dark to the east, I'm going to start putting stuff away and head for cover. I can hear thunder, you're supposed to take cover within 20 miles of any thunder, so I got to get shaken and bacon. You guys have a good day today. Glad this M110 turned out nicely. Come back and see me. Tip your waitress and waitstaff. They depend on you.